What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Internet, and today I'm bringing you guys a little bit of a weapon loadout video We're talking about what weapons I like to use, why I like to use them And I also want to see what you guys like to use, this is just three of my favorite weapon loadouts to use So I'm going to be showing you guys, if you guys are playing with different weapon loadouts Be sure to comment in the comment section below, I'm totally interested to see what you guys like to use And see if I can try them out and maybe make a challenge of it or a video about it, like call it something and so on um, so loadout number one, we got the M16 all the way to the left. It does 30 damage. It does multiply it by two, so it does 60 damage when you shoot somebody in the head with it. Uh, so it multiplies with one or two. I don't know how to say, but like they just they just double the damage on it basically when um, you hit a headshot. So it does 30 damage. Blue M16 is really good on the move, rushing around with it, jumping around with it. It's easy. To just it's a lot more accurate than the Scar, and it's a little bit more. It provides in a rushing aggressive players a lot more better than the scar. The scar is more like to just throw bases and take people on on longer distances because it does more damage. I say it does fair damage and 60 damage on headshots, so that's fairly good. It's like three shots and they're basically dead almost. Uh, we got the pump shotgun, uh, 77, uh, 67 damage, which is a good amount of damage if you hit him in the chest and so on. But that is when you are at the good range of it, like when you're up close, when you're in third range, it will just less damage. Uh, I haven't found anything on the internet about it, what it says, but I know the pump can do 200 damage to the head, 241 damage, I think, if you're straight up to the head, so it has potential to one shot. Uh, then we got the attack, the reason why I got the attack here is because you shoot once with the pump, and then twice with the attack, and then once with the pump, and then you just repeat that. The reason is because if you shoot somebody and do like 90 damage with the pump, because you hit him in the neck or something really up close, because it has the potential to do that, but the average damage is uh, 76. Uh, so then you can just switch to attack and shoot one more time with attack. That should kill him, but I would shoot two times just to make sure that switch to pump. Because uh, pump got more range, it's better at range, it's like medium range, it can still do like 30 to 60 damage on medium range, which is fairly good. And the attack drops off really, really quick. I think it's like a cold meter, then it drops off. Uh, so you shoot once in pump, twice with attack, and then you just repeat it and so on. Uh, this is the only loadout that I got here with the sniper. The sniper rifle does 160 damage, but I think it does 300 damage to the head. Um, I would recommend using any of them to be honest because you're mostly going to go for headshots but the reason why I have the legendary is if you shoot somebody in the chest it will do 160 damage. Uh, you have time to switch to your M16 before they actually could build uh, and the M16 is a little bit as I said you can just run towards them and start shooting and it will be a little bit more accurate than the SCAR. Uh, so three shots with that will be nice and it will just kill them. You can just shoot them once with sniper in the br uh, breast or the back or the legs and then just take up your M16 or just go for a headshot that also works. Uh, then we got the shields. I recommend having six to ten shields. I'm recommending mini shields and not chug jug because chug jug you can use them in early game, but I would not use them in mid game or late game because it takes so long time and it's really you're really vulnerable when you're using it. And uh, popping them in the middle of a fight is just not recommendable. Uh, so the second loader we got here is the scar, the legendary scar. It doesn't matter if you had legendary or the purple scar because uh, it's just free damage difference. But still, the scar will three shot somebody. If they don't have a shield, it does 36 damage and it multiplies by or it doubles when you hit headshots. So it does a lot of damage. It does uh, 72 damage when you're hitting somebody in the head with it, which is absolutely insane. That's three shots in the head with a guy's full shield. Uh, and you can do that easily on the uh, medium ranges. Also got the shotgun, both of the shotguns on this one as well, because you always need to have something that's good in close quarters. I have got more setups, but this is just the loader setups that I want to have right now, because it's the best ones that I actually been having a lot of success with in tournaments and uh, just playing overall, going for wind streaming, going for high kills, and so on. A little bit of a tweak here is that we don't got a sniper, we don't got any explosives. I'm not a big fan of explosives. You don't need explosives when you have the scar, basically. Uh, so yeah, being those grenades, I recommend to try and get three to four of them. Uh, I usually just get somebody out of a base or get towards a base or jump into a space with it. It works really, really well to just you know get a jump on an enemy, getting straight up to him, and just using your shotgun, shooting him a couple of times with your scar. Use your impulse grenades, use your shotguns, just destroy his ass. Uh, here we got the shields as well. As I said, I re really, really recommend using the shields if you're playing solo. If you're playing squad, I can potentially make a squad video about it, but I don't want to go too much into that right now. Uh, mini shields are just easy, quick to get in. They heal enough uh, shield and like, get like 50 shields really fast up. Like you get one shot and you can just do that all the time. It's just really, really easy. And uh, so like the setup is more like a rush heavy. You just rush with the scar. You can shoot his uh, walls open and so on. And then you just shotgun him if you get close and you repeat the pump attack. Tack, pump, tack, tack, pump over and over again, and that's insanely quick damage. Well, I would really recommend you guys training on that and practicing on that because I've been really, I've been really putting a lot of time into it um, to get used to it, and I would definitely recommend doing it. Most people don't use it, but yeah. 
we got the burst, it does 30 damage each bullet, but she's three bullets, it does 90 damage. So if you hit somebody in the head, it's 180 damage. That's almost a one shot. And then you can just take out your shotgun at like medium range and kill him, basically. Or you can shoot him in the leg, so that's fairly good as well. We got the, pu the pump and the attack here as well. Let me know if you guys want to see some submachine gun setups one day. Because uh, I got one setup for that, but I don't really include it in here. Because this is just my favorite setups and what I like to use. As I said here, we got the impulse grenades as well. The impulse grenades is more in this scenario to get close with him with a shotgun instead of repositioning yourself. Because uh, the burst is not good on the move. It's a stationary weapon. It's really good uh, when they're moving and you're not moving. It's really good against long range targets because you shoot three bullets. You have the chance of hitting one with a bullet or one of the bullets will then do like 30 damage. And then you can just shoot like a mag and you can potentially kill him if you're lucky. If you hit like two bullets with a burst or like three of them. Um, we got the mean shields here as well. I could recommend you guys also using big shields here because it is a long range setup. It's more used on long rangers. And if you play squad, you're more of a backup player basically. You're not rushing, you're not in the front line of the battle. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just my favorite weapon loadouts. I hope you guys try them out. I hope you guys have some weapon loadouts for me that I can try and uh, give my thoughts on and talk about it, make a video about it. And if you guys try this setup, let me know how it went in the next video or the comment section below. And I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe as it really helps me out. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.